as an actor, of course, you have to be able to switch from comedy, drama, uh, any kind of genre. But when you have to prepare for a role in which you kill monster Nazis, how do you enter in your character? How do you prepare the, the role? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think there's any specific road you can take to prepare. I just think you have to keep an open mind and you have to uh, just really rest easy in your, in your imagination. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of the time, I think you're doing scenes with something that just isn't there. You know what I mean? It's, most of the time it's a little X on the wall and you're playing that. But they're like, you know, the director's like, but it's a big green thing with like eight eyes. Just see that. And you just have to remember that time <laughs> when you were a child and you could just make it appear in your mind and just mm -hmm. live in that world. I think that's the best tool you can have doing any type of film in this type of genre. Mm -hmm. I completely agree. Uh, yeah, no, definitely, I completely agree. I think it's uh, it's just part of your imagination and having an open mind, as uh, just Jovan said. It's uh, being uh, creative and, uh, and ready to play. This movie, of course, is so much fun to watch, but I think it was also a lot of fun to shoot, I guess. Which has been for you the funniest scene to shoot in this movie? The funniest? Well, I had a lot of fun at the end of the film. Mm -hmm. uh, when especially if during one of my fight. Uh, that was a really cool moment. I really enjoyed doing it. I put all my energy, it was the end of the shoot as well, so I put all my energy into, into this specific scene and I really, really liked it. And I was very happy that uh, Julius Badrabaud and the Paramount would let me, uh, taking the risk and like let me play the scene the entire time. Mm -hmm. And for you? I think the most fun that I've ever had on, on the set were, was with the scenes with like the whole cast. Mm. You know what I mean? I mean, it was, I spent a good portion of the film by myself. So, you know, it's hard. Those type of days are, are hard. They're easier kind of to focus on the scene when it's just you. But I had the most fun when I was able to see, you know, these guys every day and kind of joke around between takes and stuff like that. So, yeah, any scene that it was like a big group scene was usually my favorite as mm. far as having fun. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Uh, talking about the, the director, uh, Julius, uh, how, did, how did you work, both of you, with him in order to find the right balance between the comedy, the drama, the action, of course? I think uh, I've come to really appreciate how Julius works. Uh, just remembering, even from the audition process, he just really wants you to get out of your own head um, and just really just have fun. I know I had a tendency to ask ask too many questions about the character. You know, what's you know, you can't ask his intention every single beat of the scene. And there will, it's funny because there will be moments where he would just be like, "It's just a batshit crazy scene, mate," and you just go, <laughs> you just go to have fun and just give me the chocolate and just just go for it. Just go for it, mate. And it was <laughs> that was a horrible Australian accent, by the way. But you know, I went for it. Oh, that's pretty but, good. But uh, but yeah, just to really just enjoy yourself and just. Just believe what's going on. Just have fun. That was that was like Julius's main thing, and it really helped me. That's uh, yeah, <laughs> for sure. It's uh, when I first auditioned for for Julius, I uh, I just learned from the audition room a girl just going before me saying, "Oh, he really went for it." I asked you to really go for it as well. And I was like, She said that too. Right. <laughs> That's good. Let's do it. <laughs> go for Let's it. Let's do it, okay? And so, yeah, so yeah, he really, he, and it's, it's, it's the perfectionist as well. So if he's not happy with the take, he will say, Let's do it again. I don't care if you're tired or not, like, just do it. 